Do we have any questions? Okay, we have one here. We have one at the back. Does someone have a mic? Thank you. So the gentleman here. So we'll take two, two or three questions and then we'll... Thank you, Anas. Amazing stuff, very inspiring. I actually have a lot of questions, but uh, I'm going to ask two, one very practical. Um, first of all is, when you pay these huge amounts of money as bribe, where do you get the money? <laughs> and second of all, um, do you sometimes feel like maybe the Ghanaian um, law enforcement officers may use you as a good publicity for the government because they might appear, hey, look, we busted these guys, they bust the guys, but then maybe it's just a picture. Like, what do you think about that? Well, where do you get the money? So we are a media house and we have views, we have clicks, we have radio stations that we go into some form of alliance with. So before we start any investigation, there's a budget. Investigative undercover journalists are of Ghana and as are me and us. I be answer one simple question, sir, in Crawford Pieta Ibiza concerning a baby on Yanni Sikawa at the year most of the investigative uh, videos are really easy. You never be a talk of just a question and teach his exposure really easy. The judges among others know. It just will exchange sika just to get any victims. Now I know Anna a lot of people will be say say which is a scanner, some run into millions of CDs, a bit made thousands of dollars. Unya Sikano a free him. O could be more disruption network lab, a platform so I just say or explaining Nyema or Tai a year and the reason why he does that. Now question back with PMO during uh, that particular interaction and they say uh, he fa, uh, uh, where does he get his money to pay the bribes and uh, we are, uh, to me, uh, uh, that money back as refund should the police arrest those people uh, in response and as uh, 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 a media uh, practitioner or uh, media firm now media firms names normal viewers or uh, signs so any bbc al jazeera any other international bodies a uh, juma and you know mostly and sana or mobile year investigation they set a budget and try to raise that amount of money and no and a call into payment of bribe among others now autonomy bones so explain explaining a uh, uh, can send be at the ghana police service so as to whether he trusts them or not now all your investigation in so uh, do they take credit for it should they make any arrest out of it and i say almost um, credit you know in some of the two out i'm a video you no know, air trendy on most social media uh, platforms so for adventure effort your comment session after watching the video your kind wants to say subscribe emma your youtube channel yeah bar yeah better um so. do we have any questions okay we have one here we have one at the back does someone have a mic thank you vimba one here so we'll take two, two or three questions and then we'll... Thank you, Anas. Amazing stuff, very inspiring. I actually have a lot of questions, but uh, I'm going to ask two, one very practical. Um, first of all is, when you pay these huge amounts of money as bribe, where do you get the money? <laughs> and second of all, um, do you sometimes feel like maybe the Ghanaian um, law enforcement officers may use you as a good publicity for the government because they might appear, hey, look, we busted these guys, they bust the guys, but then maybe it's just a picture. Like, what do you think about that? Well, where do you get the money? So we are a media house and we have views, we have clicks, we have radio stations that we go into some form of alliance with. So before we start any investigation, there's a budget. And that budget is what goes into the film. So yes, that's how we get the money. We don't get it every day. I wish we could get more to do what we do, but we try. And we wish we will not be paying more, but sometimes you just have to pay more to get it. Now the police... Yes, it's a decision you have to make. 
I have been the number one critic of the Ghana police. I've done stories where many of them have been sacked and all that. But at the same time, I am able to sense when I need them to help to push the national agenda. So I try to separate people's parochial interests from doing what is right. For me, a crime is a crime. And I will fight that crime. Whatever way the police service want to use to tell their story, that's for them. But at the end of the day, have I managed to minimize that crime? Have I managed to take the person to court? Have I managed to sentence the person? Those are important things for me. And if I can take pride in that work, and the police can take pride in that, it's okay. Society moves on well. But I also do know that the police are not your friends. They are not at all because they are a part of the system and they can be used against you too. Thank you. So do you get the money back, by the way, from those people that you give the money to? Well, it depends. Um, there's been certain occasions that um, the money has been used as exhibit and the people who use it as exhibit kept it as exhibit. <laughs> Permanent exhibits. Yes. Okay. Um, any other questions? We have two at the back of that. Vim Baz. Uh, dear Anas, thank you uh, for your beautiful work. I assume when you go undercover, you <laughs> naturally cannot hide your face like this. That would be a bit suspicious. So you must be going... Uh, uh, exposing your face to people that could potentially uh, leak it into the public. How you go about um, and collaborating with people that maybe know your face? How do you go about preventing this from happening? Thank you. So, there are many ways of going undercover. And... Um, Sometimes, like you saw in the Nyantechi videos, prosthetics are used. Sometimes makeup. Other times your real face. But today, technology is said that you can do a lot to yourself and change. You can change into a woman. You can change into an old man. You can change into a young man. You can do everything if you have the right people around you. And um, it's unfortunate I can't disclose everything here. But I can assure you that we have a very solid team that is in charge of that base in London. And we're able to pull through whenever those difficulties arise. Thank you. Okay, so let's take some online questions. So maybe we can follow up with the question about the police and maybe you can develop a bit more about how your work, um, as you work a lot with the police in your incredible investigations, does this prevent you by investigate about police corruption? No, it doesn't. I mean, if you look at the history of Ghana, I did um, solid police investigations where police men and security officers were jailed. I've done investigations into the MTTU of the Ghana police. I've done a lot of investigation into bribery of the police. So it doesn't prevent me from taking the police on. I mean, we've got to do what we've got to do. If there's crime, there's crime. Like I said, I cannot possess powers of arrest. They do have it. And if you call on them, I haven't seen any inspector general of police who has frowned on collaborating with me to arrest people because their fundamental duty is to keep peace in society. And most of the Vimbas. times, the police, the real policemen who do proper policing are not comfortable when there's crime in society. So no matter the hatred you have for them or they have for you, when it comes to fighting crime they will liaise with you i haven't seen any police regime in ghana or in nigeria or anywhere where they've pushed back 
at attempts of collaborating with them to arrest some other people. It may be tricky. If the thing leads to arresting one of them, it may. I haven't tried that. But usually, if it's external, they are happy to come on board. Thank Thank you. So that was Anas Aramiyao, Anas Aochechemu, in terms of where he gets his money from for investigative journalism as well as uh, whether or not Unya Nisikane back after paying such uh, bribes. We have one particular video I uh, trend. Oko a YouTube channel at Vim Baza. another video of him uh, talking about the next project. I will be releasing ah uh, a bit shaky in the world. According to him, I say a uh, yeah, shocker. Or say be release a wo a BBC channel. So come January, a uh, yeah, next month. But any update, I beba however. Yeah, the baby bremo. Vimba TV so and a movie. Yeah, that's it. Vimba's TV.